We came from a small church, and um, this is very intimidating, the amount of people here. So we're like, we want to like get to know people intimately sort of thing. You know, like after church, it's hard to run into people and be like, hey, let me be your friend, versus a small group, you're all trapped. And so it's easier to make friends that way. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit scary at first, but... Honestly, you just got to take chances, make mistakes, you know. If yeah. you don't like one small group, there's another small group for you. It has been a great opportunity to meet people, to foster Christian relationships. Still can't get them to go whitewater rafting. I don't know why, <laughs> but we we go like on tubing trips and like and even outside of all the fun stuff, it's this feeling of community. Like, um, you know, if someone needs help moving, we're there or if someone's loved one has passed away, we go to the visitation. I don't know who their grandma is, but I'm just there anyway because to support them. And, you know, I think that's what scripture talks a lot about when it speaks of the church that, you know, God is represented through um, people, right? We are his hands and we are his feet. And that's, that's what that is to me. It's like a, you grow in your Christian faith and walk with a small group. I grew up with uh, don't ask questions, just accept whatever like you've been taught sort of thing. So it's nice to like finally be in an open group and like, I'm like, oh, I finally get to ask these questions that I thought were dumb for so many years. Hmm. And there's no really judgment there. We've been through a lot of life changes and every step of the way they've been with us and encouraged us and like stood by our side during that. The word talks about how we should be saturated in it and we should be, you know, dwelling on it daily. So small groups are nice because sometimes Sundays kind of have a reservation of like, oh, well, it's Sunday, so I'm going to church. So this is when I'll think about God. And then afterwards, I'll clear them out. But small groups are nice because it keeps you on that track, you know, not just on Sunday. I also just feel like when you go to Sunday schools and stuff, you don't really have a lot of time to talk to the people in those Sunday schools. So it's nice to like catch up on our weeks, like actually have a time to like discuss our lives. So now we have like a better prayer life together. Um, we do Bible studies obviously with them in the group, but like they've encouraged us to do our own. I would say the small group has made those times together of when we pray or when we listen to a sermon on Spotify or something like that. Like it's gone from inorganic to organic. Like that parable about the throwing the seeds on like different soils. Uh, a small group is where you grow roots, grow community, you grow friends, you grow in love and faith in God. I'm getting emotional. I am getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why? What, what's, what's triggering me? They just mean a lot to me. They've made a huge difference in my life and I appreciate that so much. Um, I don't think I'm gonna cry, unfortunately, I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> Cornerstone is the best small group. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>